I'm from uh, Barrio Logan Heights in San Diego, California. I'm a first generation Chicano. I'm the second of eight children born to a Mexican mother from Sonora. My mom was eight months pregnant when she crossed the border with me and she always had this story she would tell me when I was a child. She said I was a very precocious kid. She said, Jonathan, estaba embarazada y no cabía en el hoyo. So me empujaron y me empujaron. Y, y, y en, en one of the, el coyote heard a baby cry. So basically, they were pushing her through this hole through the border to get her to go through because she was eight months pregnant. And they heard a baby cry and they told her, oh, your baby's going to have a gift. So she used to say, that's your gift, Jonathan. That's why you're so smart because of that. But you know what? I think she was wrong. I think the gift I really do have is that dogged determination, that audaciousness to think that someone who grew up like me, someone who dropped out of high school after 10th grade, who was a drug addict by 15, who was in and out of juvenile hall my entire childhood, that was arrested the first time ever at 11 by my school police officer for throwing a paper airplane in class. That's the gift that I was so audacious to think that I could become a lawyer. And you know what? Here I am on the precipice of it. All right, and when I, get, when I obtain my law degree from USF School of Law, I will become a public defender to combat the scorch that is mass incarceration. And to all my supporters out there and to, to the, um, the funders, I leave you with this. No vine a ver si puedo, sino porque puedo vengo, which roughly translates to, I didn't come to see if I am capable, but because I am capable, I am here. My name is Jonathan Verdugo, and I am a change lawyer.